Ruid's men tore through it. Eivor! You made it! Dunwich! It is time to light the brazier. I'll light it. You do the talking. Ruther, Valdis, and I will scout the dock. Make sure there are no surprises. Oswald and I will hold here until the brazier is lit. The front gate is heavily guarded. You'll not be walking in. I'll find my own way. We'll be watching you back. Done, witch. Now to clear out Ruid's men and light that brazier. <laughs> Best not to draw attention here. Once the brazier is lit, the rest of Ruid's men should arrive. Odin gives me a bargain. A few dead men at my feet in exchange for a ripe East Anglia, and my wife returned. What a day! You. I don't know you. You don't need to know my name. You will not have a use for it beyond today. <laughs> Who called for me? Was it you, Valdis, my love? Why would I call you now, after five happy years away from your stinking balls? I called you, Ruid. You, Oswald, the hopeful king of East Anglia, and Valdis's husband-to-be. Take your men and go. East Anglia is strong with Saxons and Danes united. It will not fall to raiders. Must I set sail for Denmark with nothing to show for the journey, after coming all this way? You'll have my weight in silver. And an abundance of livestock and grain. I've taken ten times that already. What's the real prize? I'll make you an offer, Pigfoot. A home gang, just you and me, for the future of your kingdom. I accept. I accept. 
A fight to the death? East Anglia's the prize. Let it be heard. Hey. The hazel is laid! The square is made. When you see a chance, lead Valdus and the brothers to safety. They must not fight today. East Anglia needs them. Let me be your champion. No. He called on me. Whenever you're ready, King of <laughs> Sheep Shit! I'm ready! They're breaking off. They've given up for now. Let's put some distance between us. We can rest a moment. By Thor, he fought well. Raging like a bonfire. We should go back! Oswald may have survived. Ruid as well. It's possible. Ruid's men will press their advantage. We must be ready when they attack. We'll go to Norwich. Meet me there when you can. He died a hero. There's no doubt. If his god won't take him, all the sword women will. Stop washing your face with mead. How can I face half on Jarl now? I fail him again. These storm clouds of despair will not solve anything, Finir. We need action. What action? We can take the battle to what remains of Ruid's clan before they hit back. Easier said than done. His men are holed up in Borg Castle, a fortress on the sea. On the sea? Then it must have a harbor. It does. Guarded by a gate of hefty iron held in place by timber spikes, difficult to force open. Timber burns. It does. But how do we reach it? We wreck your ship with oil at her front and sail it ablaze at the gate. They would see us coming long before we reached the walls. We raise a fiat 
an army of East Anglia's farmers. Throw them at the front gate as a distraction. <laughs> Saxons willing to die for a bunch of Danes? It's a stretch. It can work, Finir. If they fight in Oswald's name, that is all the courage they will need. <laughs> you there! Did you hear of Thane Oswald's fate? Aye, we did. He dragged Ruid to the bowels of Elba, Dane devil. Ruid may be gone, but his clan still plagues East Anglia. And would you join us to rid your kingdom of his dogs? For Oswald? Aye, anything. Two eager Saxons is not yet defeated. But you may be right. We may have a chance. I can ride to Elmenham and muster what remains of Oswald's men there. But who else would join us? The Reeve of Thaedford, Winston. He's a bitter old barnacle, but he would fight to the death for this land. We can assemble a forward camp at the ruins north of Boer Castle. Ride with me, Finir. Let's pay this Reeve a visit. With any hope, Thaedford remains untouched by Ruid's violence. Hope is a scarce word in this kingdom. Maybe so. But I would rather hold on to something, anything, than ride with empty hands. Ruid's clan continues to roam this kingdom unchecked. The people of East Anglia will be as ravaged as these lands. And where do we find ourselves? Riding into defense to beg a horde of frightened yeah. farmers for aid. To fight for a king that you gave them, Finir. Remember that. It was my task to find them a king, not protect that king against every danger that might befall him. Oswald wasn't crowned yet. Nor was he married. I say you have some work yet to do. <laughs> right, right. Expect, no need to what remind me how far I've been short. Theovold, just ahead. Wood smoke and ash. Ruid's men have been here. Watch your back. Ruid's clan may still be nearby. What about you? There's so little. Everything is gone, Reeve. Everything. Ah, oh, my friend, we will rebuild, I promise you. I ain't come to have a will of iron coming here, knowing your kind did all this. Ruid's clan is your enemy, not me. I come on behalf of the late Oswald of Elmenhelm. You're still a Dane from top to two. It's your meddling that led to Oswald's death. Leaving our kingdom for the worse. Oswald died defending East Anglia, defending you. Will you not do the same? What? Die in defense of a lost cause? I had crumbs of my own. East Anglia will fall if Ruid's clan is not defeated. Fight with me to drive them off. For Oswald and your kinsmen. Pretty words, Dane. But the men of Theovard have their own battles to fight. If you need an axe, I'm standing right here. There's a village to the east, Kingsbury. It was taken by Ruid's men a fortnight ago. And I'll not rest until it's back in our hands. Let me and my raiders take the village. Save your strength and join us for the fight to come. Bold offer. If you do as you promise, the pikes at Theavard will be yours. I will take this news to our forward camp, Abel. Follow when you can. I will see you there. Kingsbury's church has a great horn atop its steeple. If you manage the task, blew it. I'll know you kept your word. Mm -hmm. I ain't got the strength no more. Stand tall. You there. Stay. A word, if you will. You called to me. We heard you talking with the Reeve, and we wish to fight beside you. We owe Oswald for his good deeds and fair rule. I'm glad to hear it. Go to the ruins north of Burke Castle. 
The army gathers there. To join me. Let's hope his promise holds. I held to my oath, Reeve. I hope you will honor yours. My promise holds, I. They of Ord will join you in the fight against Ruid's clan. With your aid, we may yet save East Anglia. In past times, that horn was used to muster fears all across our land. You may find others who have warmed to its call. Good. Whatever willing men you find, rally them soon at the ruins north of Burr Castle. Finally! My long ship to use again. I was tired of it gathering dust. Our ships are sturdy, but the Berg's walls are sturdy. Hey, boy! Well, men are pouring in from across East Anglia, and our ships stand ready. They Edward Reeve is with us. His men will be here soon. More than his. The Kingsbury Horn has inspired men all across this kingdom. We will have the army we need. It seems Oswald got what he wanted in the end. Saxon and Dane, united in common cause. A pity he's not here to see it. The forces will be ready soon. Are you ready to start the assault? I am. Our target is Burr Castle, said to be impenetrable. Good. Let them have their false confidence. By cover of night, Baldus will lead the field at the front gates. With Ruid's men distracted, our forces move on the sea gate from the backwaters at their backs. And once we're in, we'll leave no gate closed in that castle. Ruid's men cannot be allowed to dig in further. Your longship, is she ready? She awaits her own special glory. They need your words, Abel. Oswald was a man who did not hesitate when you sought him for favors. A man who was fair and strong. A man who gave his life for his kingdom. Honor him today. Honor his memory and fight with the same extra courage he showed! For us, For us, For us Now is the time. Today we rid East Anglia of Ruit's clan, once and for all. Remember the dream I spoke of? You sail through Helheim on a ship of fire. Here, it may come to pass. Dreams, life. It may be they are one and the same. Tonight I ride the flaming sea steed, rushing for the spear dim. A watcher I light on water's wake, another glory I will keep. Ready yourselves, ruined shit stains will see us coming. Ready us! 
ourselves to brace, men. We bring Helheim to our enemies. How oh, nice! They greet us with some of their own from the air. Arrows!
Oswald. He lives. Oswald lives! Abel, is that you? Shut your ass, twig spy! <clears throat> Stand fast! This will be over soon! Worry not for me! You must stop! <clears throat> Silence, fool! So this is what it comes to, Wolfkist? Two Danes fighting over a filthy Saxon horse, son? This swine is your prize! Come and <clears throat> get him! <clears throat> Treated as equals. We are better than this, than all of them. Do not drag me down to the sewage you wallow in. For all your efforts, only the cold dark of Niflheim awaits you. Valhalla is my destiny. That face will not be met today. Thank you. You throw in with these wastrels, these Argir swine? For what? A scribe of land and a promise of peace? Eivor, no! He should be tried before God, a lawful assembly. <laughs> I won't have my reign begin with more blood spilt than is needed. Another screeching skull. This man must die for the damage he has wrought. The old laws are clear. These are Oswald's lands, to rule as king as he sees fit. Does Eivor bow to kings? To defy a king would shame him. East Anglia cannot heal without his honor intact. And what of your honor, Eivor? How much are you willing to lose? The rightful king of East Anglia has spared your life today. And so it will be. Passion is a virtue suited for anyone, Eivor, including you. Thank you. You notice how they... I should speak with Oswald. See if he is well. Oswald lives! You fight well, heathen. Not bad yourself, Saxon. <laughs> we did it! I can't believe we did it! Thank you for heeding me, Eivor. I know the worth of such a gesture. All this is... is like a dream. But you are not asleep. Well fought! Well fought! The both of you! 
you came as well, old friend. If I'd known you were still alive, I would have stayed in Norwich. Look around you. A happy occasion and a glorious victory. And soon, something more grand to take place. A wedding, my love. If you will still have me, that is. And why would I not? I fought poorly. I melted under the heat and anger of that brute. And I never... Oswald, stop. You fought with all your heart and soul. That's all you need ever do. Come then. We have much to prepare for. A bride to wed and a kingdom to lead. But some men wouldn't give for such things. Countless men have died for them. And you, Finir, are you jealous of such things? Hardly. My heart is a fire, but my body aches. I desire only a long nap. I saw a bale of hay back there. Later, Abel. For now I must see to the wounded. Then I will see you at the wedding. Aye, of course you will. I should return to Elmenham. Oswald's wedding will soon begin. How grand! It's not a beautiful and worthy celebration, my lord. Thank you. May this feast set a spirited tone for East Anglia's future. Just like you to keep a king waiting at his own wedding. Yet I arrived in the end. A part of me worried you wouldn't. You look good, Oswald. Like a man about to marry a more powerful woman. Do I? Because I'm nervous as hell. Of all the battles a man can fight, the war against himself is the hardest to win. I hereby name you man and wife, and as man and wife, I name you... Oswald of Elmenham, first of his name, the rightful king of East Anglia, with his Lady Valdis, soul, fist, and beauty of this land. You've done it, Stuart. A king now sits on the throne of East Anglia. Don't leave yourself out of this song. We did it together. Back to your dreams, then, of fire and Helheim. 
I lost my way some time ago. Hard to say when. I don't want to be here. I never did. This was half Dan's dream. He ordered me to see through. My dreams, I'm sailing, remember? Wind in my beard, salt on my lips. I want that life again. Whether or not I find it, only time will tell. Until then, let us feast, drink, and forget our pain! Challenge! Eivor! Wolf kissed. Gaze upon my parts. They stand so strong. Unbreakable at this distance, no? They are not, Brothier. My arrow's shadow would have attacked if they strike. Even after draining so much meat, succeed and you shall be rewarded. Keep your eyes open long enough to witness me, you drunken lout. Yes, that's it! Word everything, an easy task for the wolf kissed. Ah, oh, barely a challenge. Impressive, impressive. Here as promised. Now go enjoy the party. <laughs> Skull Ivor, let's have a drink. Your fist is without ale. Let us address that. Surely a special kind of metal is required for drinking before the new king. A metal not unlike your own. To Odin and his endless glories. And the new king of East Anglia. May his reign be long and good. Not bad, Wolf Kiss. I wager you couldn't drink more than me if you tried. <laughs> A fool's wager. A challenge nonetheless. What say you? I will drink you under the table. <laughs> Confident, are you? Let us see how you fare against the Ale Beast of East Anglia. And we'll make it interesting. Put your silver where your mouth is. What say you? I accept. The tail is strong, brother. <laughs> but I am stronger. Better luck next time, Wolf Kissed. Now, you owe me some silver. Fine, take it. 
gone after that. Look there! Pillar on the roof! The boar represents fertility. Did you know that? Estes Freyr, what's your point? You impress me, Eivor. Your battle wisdom, your strength of character, skilled in so many ways. Yet I wonder, is there any skill of mine that I could impress upon you? Even a fool has something to teach, whether they're aware of the lesson or not. Hey, hey. But I could show you how to wield my plow sword. Have another horn of mead, brother. It's brewed with clover and raspberry, they say. Did you hear what I... Mmm. Yes, it's good. Keep that up. Wait, did you hear? Did my brother just call me? I think he... You know I should go. Brother! The road to Valhalla does not run that way, Finir. He's been out there a while. Eivor, Eivor! Some sweet wine for a sweet swine? <laughs> the Saxon god wanders somewhere up here, does he not? I haven't seen him. They like to say he moves with mystery. Look! The moon! It moves on trouble now. But one day it will be eaten by a giant wolf and the nights will be black forevermore. Are you all right? I've tasted glory once again. And it was good. I'm glad to hear it. Now... I always felt like Skull or Hati. Chasing and trying to fulfill Halfdan's wishes. But now I've caught my sun and moon. I've got them and I... I don't know. You can let them go. Sail to a further shore. My long ship's in Valhalla. But don't you remember? Fire starter. <gasps> Come on. Let's get you to solid ground. Everything's spinning. You're very strong. You, you're very large. <laughs> Sorry for this, Eivor. I've had one last glory. I should be happy. I am happy. Thank you. It need not be the last. Not the last. Mm. Mm. Enough fun and games. I should see how Oswald is doing. Eivor, I'm about to address our guests, and I'd like you to be there. It has been a worthy ceremony so far. And have you had enough fun yet? I am ready to hear you address your kingdom. Good. Come, come. Join me. Friends, honored guests. We've pushed through hard times. It seems like all we've known is loss and suffering. But it is not conflict that binds us. It is compassion. May we always favor compassion, even when our enemies refuse its boon. So, to my Dane friends and neighbors, I give thanks for the bravery you have shown during our collective struggles. And for my fellow Christians, may we continue standing as examples of our Lord's grace. Lights in the dark. I see East Anglia's future right here, right now, in all of you, Dane and Saxon alike. To our future. Still a bit soft on insults, but the king has courage. And to Eivor. Without whom, none of this would have been possible. On behalf of East Anglia, 
Let this ring be proof of our loyalty to the Raven Clan and all they have done for us today. Would you have any words of wisdom for us? Oswald, you would not have been my first choice as king, nor my second. I thought you weak, bendable, without resolve. But not all men are as they first appear. I came to see that Oswald's heart is amongst the largest I have ever known. He is sturdy, he has wisdom, he has courage. All qualities of a man worthy to be king. He is the king East Anglia deserves and the king you need. To the good king, Oswald! To Oswald! Skull! 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 Okay, everyone, the bridal race starts now. Remember, you all have to lose to the bride and groom. Steady all, and ready yourself for the wedding race. The king and his bride against all. My king. He... <laughs> <laughs> the sheep you left to guard me have been shorn. Oswald! King of sheep fuckers! Show your eyes! I challenge you. I accept. Oswald is king, and a king must have a champion. I will fight in his stead. He challenged me, Eivor. Your fight is bigger than this lord. You must rebuild East Anglia plank by plank. And a dead king cannot keep his oaths. Let me finish this. Oswald, you gutless Arius swine! I'll slay the wolf kissed, then hang you with your own tongue. <sighs> Getting in the way! East Anglia can burn for all I care! I wish it had not come to this. So much death, so much anger. What is done, is done. You're leaving now? I should. Your wedding should be a day of peace and happiness. Today I lack both. Eivor, you've done East Anglia a great service. I promised you an alliance, and now you have it. And one day I will need you to make good on that alliance. Brother, look after Oswald, will you? Aye, he is family now. And I could not be more proud of him. <laughs> we have you to thank for that. <laughs> Take care. Brother, Oswald is in your hands now. Protect your king. And call out to my banner, should the need arise. Aye, Eivor. Without a moment's hesitation. Travel safe. I will, friend. Valdis. Will you not stay a moment longer, Eivor? I should not linger. My banner folk await my return. I understand. Take care, Valdis. You fought well, and won yourself a worthy king. I did, didn't I? Take care, Eivor.
A dream come true, like none other. Thank you for everything, from the bottom of my heart. Ah, greetings, Savor. You're missing the festivities. I've had my fill. It's as much yours as it is Oswald's. I was a crumbling man, Eivor. Before all this, I thought I'd die a tired old failure. But now, my heart burns bright with newfound fire. I want to live hard, die fierce! Glory cares not for age, Finir. Sail with me. My ship could always use a wise head and a strong axe. Together. Together. I'll gather my things. 